welcome back uh, this is fourth video of our series of videos deploying palo alto virtual appliance on azure with ha using azure load balancer so if we go to our project plan in fourth video we are uh, we will be configuring second palo alto virtual appliance in zone 2 so let's go back to our azure portal Click on resource groups, select virtual appliance. Before we uh, go, go to a template, a GitHub template to create a profile, a, a, a firewall, we'll have to provision our public IP address as we shown in the previous video. So click create, search on marketplace public IP. All right. Let's wait it to load. Yeah. Click on public IP address. Give it a logical name. So in my case, I will use Palo PIP MGMT FW2. Yeah. Make sure it is a correct resource group, correct region and the most important option is availability zone so previous firewall we have deployed in availability zone one so this one we are going to deploy in availability zone two i you can select either it's zone two or zone three but it has to be different it cannot be zone one it's up to you whether you want to provision this firewall in zone two or zone three so we'll select zone two it has to be a static ip address that's it um, click review create create okay now let's go back to github to provision the second firewall click deploy to azure takes some time to load okay so here we need to fill in all the settings okay first of all make sure it's a correct subscription if you have multiple subscriptions uh, select a resource group in our case it's uh, palo rgfw2 location uk south um, Region is UK South, location is uh, uh, fine. Inbound NSG is fine. Okay, let's give an NSG name like we did in previous video. So because this is going to be a management uh, NSG, so we'll name it Palo NSG MGMT. Storage account, go with the uh, default one, VM name, okay? so. I'm going to give it a name Palo FW02. Image version latest, VM size, let's go with the standard one. Um, this is what uh, we use for VM300 series. Virtual network name. So we have already provisioned a virtual network. So we'll use the same one. Open Azure portal in the next window. Yeah, this is the VNet that we are going to use, Palo VNet FWLB1. So just copy the name, go back to deployment window, paste it. Virtual network name is done, it's existing uh, VNet. Virtual address, virtual network address prefix. So go to your address space. Um, I'll use the management address space virtual network uh, existing resource group name again go back click on overview and copy the resource group name of your virtual network leave uh, uh, subnet 0 subnet 1 and subnet 2 names because this is how we have named them already in the vnet if you click on subnets you can find out MGMT, untrust, and trust. All right. 
next option is subnet zero prefix so go back copy subnet zero is our management subnet go back paste it here similarly untrust interface go back paste it here and trust interface all right so this is done now authentication type will be password for username i'll use palo admin but again you can use based on your organizational requirements give it a strong password you can even use 2mfa uh, multi-factor authentication later admin ssh key leave it to for, uh, leave it uh, blank because we are not using ssh in public ip address use the existing one go back here let's go to resource group fwz2 and find out the public IP address that we have created previously earlier in this video. Mm, let's refresh. Why it's not showing here? All right. By mistake, I think we have created in resource group one. All right. Mm, let's refresh the whole page. Mm. Have we created a public IP address? Let's do one thing. Click on all resources. I'll not pause the video to troubleshoot so that you can also get a real, uh, real time idea. Yeah, it is there. Palo, PIP, MGMT, FW2, and it's created in correct resource group. I don't know why it's not showing. Let's click on resource group again and give it a hard refresh. Usually it's not that slow. Uh, today it seems uh, loud. All right. So this is FW2 resource group. It should have our public IP address, which we have created earlier in the beginning of this video. Yeah, here you go. I think it was a refresh issue only. We had to give it a hard refresh. So click on this public IP address. I'll close unnecessary windows okay so this is the public ip address that we have created for this vm so give it a name and then copy the resource group name as well so this is our resort okay select static ip okay zone so this is going to be a second zone, uh, zone number two so this is the most important configuration only to select the zone we are going through this complex process of creating a palo alto virtual appliance okay click on create and review let's go through the validation process all right now let's click on create because validation passed successfully Save. All right, now it's gonna take uh, around five to 10 minutes. So I, uh, I think we are good for now. So this is done for this uh, video. Let's catch up again for our fifth video. In fifth video, we are going to configure interfaces, zones, virtual routers, management profile in both of our virtual appliances. So what we'll do is we'll log in using a management public IP address to both of the firewalls, and then we'll be uh, configuring these settings inside the Palo Alto virtual appliances. All right, so join me for next video. We are good for now. See you next video. Thank you.